Hi folks, Coach Roboto here again, and today I want to uh, visit with you a little bit about the Linebacker Creed. Uh, it's a creed that I uh, developed, I based it on the Airman's Creed from the U.S. Air Force and uh, developed it, uh, adapted it rather, uh, to linebacker play. So let me just read it to you and then we'll, we'll go through it, okay? Linebacker Creed. I am a Wildcat linebacker. I represent my family, school, team, and myself with honesty, integrity, and courage. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I never lie, cheat, or steal. I don't whine, complain, or make excuses. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I fear no one and respect everyone. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I will always do what is best for my team. I am loyal to my coaches and my teammates. I am a Wildcat linebacker. I will take a back seat to no one. Not an inch of our territory, not a stone of our fortress. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I give 100% during preparation. I will outwork my opponent. I am a Wildcat linebacker. I will always attack. I will play fast, fight, and finish every play. I will break your spirit with relentless effort. I am a Wildcat linebacker. I was chosen to play football. I am a great football player. I will be victorious. I am a Wildcat linebacker. Okay, um, let's break this thing apart. I have the linebackers get up and say this every now and again. We recite it to each other, so on and so forth. And it's just a series of uh, principles, uh, kind of like the qualities of a linebacker put into a creed, something we can uh, believe in and, and, and uh, go back to and, and use when uh, you know we've, we've had some successes or even had some setbacks just to remind us who we are and what we're all about. Um, the first thing is I represent my family, school, team, and myself with honesty, integrity, and courage. That I got from John Wooden, Honesty, Integrity, and Courage, and uh, you represent your family, school, team, and yourself. We, I always talk to the linebackers about, you know, when you're out on that field, even when you're off the field, you're, you're always a Wildcat. You know, once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. You, you can't switch it on and off, and you're always representing your family. That's the same thing. You know, you're never not a part of your family, so you're representing uh, your school and your family and your team, obviously, and, uh, and yourself on and off the field in the classroom um, and you want to do that with honesty you want to represent your, your all those entities with honesty integrity and courage and, and courage is a funny thing you know don't misunderstand courage I'm not talking about the courage to be in a fist fight uh, something like that I'm talking about courage to do things that you're not quite sure you could do like pass uh, pass organic chemistry or uh, continue with this workout and you know finish your workout or or you know, go to work when you're really, really tired. It takes a lot of courage. There's a lot of there's a lot of men and women out there. It's real courage to go to the same job that you don't really like. Do that for 15 years to support your family. That's courage. So we try and be honest. I'm always talking to them about honesty. You know, honesty is the best policy. Uh, I've made some mistakes in my life. I've made some mistakes with current uh, the the current staff that I'm working on. And uh, you know, the head coach comes in and he says, Hey, did did, did this happen? What can you say? But yes, sir. Yes, sir. I screwed up. And what? What? Nine times out of the ten, they say, "Well, let's get it fixed." So honesty is better than, than than creating a web of lies. So honesty, integrity, and courage is first. Then the next is I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I never lie, cheat, or steal. I don't whine, complain, or make excuses. That again was from John Wooden. That's the advice his dad his dad gave him before he left uh, to go play basketball when he was a young man. Lie, never lie, cheat, or steal. No, these are just good things in life and it's hard to live up to that. It's hard. Um, it's hard not to lie, cheat, or steal when that's the easy way. It's really, really hard. Uh, but it's something to live up to. And then the next one really, that's, that, that was even in the base of the pyramid of success. Don't whine, complain, or make excuses. You know, especially when we're talking about football and linebacker play. Nobody wants to be around a whiner in, in any aspect of life but don't whine don't complain you know uh, no matter what your facilities are don't complain about the locker room it, it's your locker room don't whine and complain about it you know don't whine and complain about how you travel to games or what your uniforms look like or, or anything how, what kind what practice is going to be like today that does not help all that does is bring negative energy in and we're not going to have that you know the pyramid of success is built on a positive ground so uh, don't whine, complain, or make excuses. There's, you know, you either did it right or you did it wrong. You know, and if you did it wrong, let's fix it. Let's let's get it right. Uh, 
but uh, usually an excuse does nothing but prolong prolong the process of getting it right. So let, let's forget about that one, okay? Let's forget about making excuses. Here's, here's another interesting one. I like this one. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I fear no one and respect everyone. Now I'm not talking about going out and getting in a fist fight. I'm talking about, you know, uh, when we're going into an opponent, there, there's no reason to fear any football team. That's just out of the question. That will not enter our realm of thinking. Those guys over there are young guys, young kids just like you. They put their pants on one leg at a time. They practice just like you. Hey, they might have an athlete or two that's better than you. They might have a lot that are better than you, but you know, no, no reason to fear. No, don't ever go in thinking, uh, you know, we're going to get slaughtered by this team. By the same token, respect everyone. Never go into to, to an opponent which on paper you think you should beat and, 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 and not give them the proper respect. That's a football team over there, and they practice hard, and they're on scholarship. You respect that team, and you, you show them the due respect of, of playing to, to, your, to your best of your ability. That happens a lot nowadays, more, more than you might think. You, you start patting young kids on the back and their coaches, and before you know it, they get knocked off by a team that's not as good as them on paper because it's hard to, that, to handle that when you're a young high school or college, college player. Um, so we, we fear no one, but we respect everyone. You know, and that's the same thing in life. Don't fear somebody because they're different. And, and, and you can show them respect even if they are different. You know, so we try and apply that to uh, life as well as football. Uh, another one, I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I always do what's best for my team. I'm loyal to my coaches and my teammates. You know, we talked about loyalty in the pyramid of success base. Loyalty is really important. Always do what's best for your team. Whether you're the starter, the backup, a uh, samurai scout player, what is best for the team? If I have to move a different position, what's best for the team? Uh, if I have to come out a few series and give somebody else some reps so I can get rest of what's best for the team and be loyal to those coaches. You know, you signed on to play. You signed on to play. Be loyal to those coaches. And coaches need to be loyal to the players, too. We talked about that in the pyramid of success. I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I take a back seat to no one. Not an inch of our territory, not a stone of our for fortress. We're not going to take a back seat to anybody. Uh, we are going to be as well prepared as anybody we face, more so in some cases at, at linebacker play. We're going to know our opponent, we're going to know ourselves, we're going to know our game plan, we're going to know exactly what we need to do to beat them, so we're not going to take a back seat to them. We're going to go play the champion, and if it's in their own backyard, we're going to play the champion uh, to the best of our ability, and we're not going to take a back seat to them. We're not going to walk into any game ever and think, there's no way we can beat these guys. When that happens, it's time to get out of the game. You know, you, you work hard. We work hard. We put together a good game plan. We've got good athletes. Let's play. Let's play. Let's prove it on the field. No, we don't take a back seat to anybody. Uh, I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I give 100% during preparation. I'll outwork my opponent. That's one of the key ingredients to helping you not take a back seat to anybody. Outwork your opponent. You could, we should be able to walk on the field as, as Wildcat linebackers and think, these guys did not work as hard as me. They might have worked hard, but they're not going to outwork me. I, I, I have worked really hard this week. I've prepped really hard. I'm ready to go. I worked hard all off season. My body's ready to go. My mind, my spirit. I'm ready to. I'm ready to roll. So that that preparation, outworking your opponent, helps you, helps you go into the game with the with a proper attitude. Um, I'm a wildcat linebacker. I'll always attack. I play fast, fight, and finish. I'll break your spirit with relentless effort. Relentless is kind of one of our words at linebacker. We always want to be relentless, moving to the ball. Uh, and the last one is I'm a Wildcat linebacker. I was chosen to play football. I'm a great football player, and I will be victorious. All the linebackers that, that, that we have here at, at Abilene Christian University, they, they need to understand this, and I, and I try and tell them this a lot, that you were chosen to come play here. There's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot of good football players out there, but we picked you. We picked you. You're special. We thought you can fit into what we're trying to do here. Not only as, as, a, as a football team, but as a university. And that means you're special. And, and you were chosen to play. That means you're a great football player. We're putting you on the field. That means we believe in you. You can do this thing. We can play anybody that's on our schedule. And we can get after their tail. Because you are a Wildcat linebacker. You were handpicked by this staff and by me. You were handpicked. That means you're a great football player. You got some great heart, great character, good talent. You know, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be successful. 
if you just keep going in the, in the proper direction with, the, with our head football coach, the rest of this football team, and, and we're going to be a, a big part of the victory because you are a Wildcat linebacker. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's the linebacker's creed, and, uh, and we try and uh, believe in those things and talk about those things on a daily basis. And uh, hopefully maybe you could uh, uh, modify this, take this, and, uh, and make it into something that you can use with your, with your business or, or your, your football program or any, any sport. Um, and it, like I say, several of these things were, I, I took them from every source I can get and, and you know, just mold them into something that works for me. But I appreciate your time. Have a good day.